This is my first harvest festival, but I'm having a wonderful time. Hail. What a beautiful day. We couldn't have asked. Welcome to the harvest festival. Is this your first visit to Badman's Hollows? The Badman is one of the old gods, the source of all strife and the god of crop failure. According to local tradition, appeasing him will ensure a good harvest. Superstitious nonsense, but an excellent excuse for a festival. First, we gather baskets of fresh apples and bags of hardy grain. Then we burn them on the sacrificial altar in his honor. After that comes the feast. Help us gather the offering, and I'll see that you get a seat of honor. May our humble offerings bring Sheor's mercy upon us. Then we feast. Like I said before, it's probably just superstition. But as my great uncle Nicodemus used to say, it couldn't hurt. We're a friendly folk here in the hollows. We share our traditions with all who would respect them. And it's always nice to see a fresh face at the table. I'm trying to write a ballad about the Harvest Festival. You'd be amazed how hard it is to find words that rhyme with festival. Lovely day for a festival, isn't it? It's all so exciting. This whole festival seems like a lot of nonsense. But it's all in good fun. What's the harm? Sacrifice all the apples and grain they want. Just tell them to keep their hands off the wine. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the newcomer has made an offering to the bad man. Join with me in celebration. Man, stern hand of the harvest, master of blight and plenty, accept this gift. Feed and grow stronger. May, May his hunger never be sated. May his roots grow, 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 grow ever deeper. Well done. As a final step, you must scatter dirt on the fire. According to the legend, just as our crops feed on the soil of the hollows, so too will the bad man feed. Also, it's a tradition. Humorous. Not one of them. Please, you must help me. Uh, help me get free of these roots. 
Then I'll explain everything. Self-preservation. Roots first, then answers. The dead shock over there. I killed it before these roots grabbed me. Cut out its fire gland, then use it to burn away these roots. Hurry! Lucky you came along when you did. We've got a lot of work to do. That was no harvest festival. Those people are Daedra worshippers, and we're in terrible danger. We need to get out of these tunnels. We're directly beneath the tree. Except it's not a tree. It's a minor Daedric Lord. The tree's roots are the key. He channels dark energy through them to keep this pocket of oblivion from collapsing upon itself. Destroying the roots will hurt him. The same way you freed me. Use Shocklands to burn the roots in these caverns. That should weaken him. I'll work on planning our escape. Once you've burned the roots, come and find me. Yes, I'm sure you do. Eveline. I was part of a circle of mages testing the boundaries of conjuration. I'd say we were wildly successful, mortal terror notwithstanding. A minor Daedric Lord. On this plane, it manifests itself as a giant tree at the center of the Hallows. No, this wasn't the work of any Breton god. The being we're dealing with is a Dramora Lord. It adopted the guise of the Badman to lure the gullible into its trap. The search for divine knowledge, natural curiosity, lots of reasons. Look, if we knew it would corrupt our circle, impersonate an old harvest god, and drain the souls of the living, we certainly would have reconsidered. Deep beneath the roots of the tree, we're not in Glenumbra anymore. The hallows and these tunnels exist on another plane, a pocket realm. The more the tree grows, the larger this realm becomes. If left unchecked, it could destroy half of Glenumbra. I can only assume you were sacrificed. I don't know why you weren't immediately consumed. The souls of the living are like mead and bread to this thing.
Look like an abomination. Fascinating. The roots do not consume you. Well, that may prove useful. The name is Finbir. I was part of the circle of mages that summoned the Dramora Lord now posing as the bad man. I can help keep his power in check, but I'll need your help. The Dramora killed many of my circle. Their undead bones wander these tunnels, clutching the gems we used in the ceremony. Bring me some of them. If the Dramora is banished, I can use them to prevent him from ever returning to this realm. <laughs> 